you can get a used Model S for around $25,000. Here are some reasons why you should. One is the large opening moonroof. It's one of the largest of any car out there. By default, it opens up to 75% opening, but you can slide it all the way back to 100%. The newer Teslas do not have an opening sunroof, just a fixed glass panel. Here you can see how big it really opens the car up. My car is rear wheel drive and you can really feel it out on the road. The all wheel drive cars have a different steering feel. I really love the rear wheel drive. Now the nationwide supercharging is available on all Teslas. There are 25,000 superchargers nationwide. However, Teslas built before 2017 have free nationwide supercharging, which is great. All Teslas come with built-in music and data streaming. However, only the 2017 and earlier models come with the free music and data streaming. The newer cars have to pay about $10 a month. What's shocking is how much effort Tesla put into this streaming service. If you look, there's just endless choices in genres and getting down to nuanced levels of music in here you can really drill down into some really interesting music choices. Uh, the Google Maps are updated all the time, which is also part of it. And you also get car karaoke. And this also includes the games and the uh, entertainment package, which is built into the uh, Tesla infotainment system. All Teslas can have roof racks, but the earlier cars are really easy to mount with these mounting points you can see. They don't require complicated clips, there's just a screw that goes right in there. All Teslas come with great video games. You can even use them with an Xbox controller. These games are so good you can sit there on your lunch break or when you're supercharging and get tons of entertainment all built into the car and they are also downloading newer games all the time which comes with your built-in streaming package there's no charge for these video games at this moment I just hope Tesla keeps producing these great games but that's one of the coolest games in um, the Tesla arcade uh, go to here the Actually, I think with the Tesla Model S with the 17-inch vertical screen, I actually like the verticalness. Um, my neighbor has a Model Y, and it's this way. And actually, Skyforce looks better on this type of screen. Um, that's one of the latest games. Uh, there's a, a lot of, like, um, sim-type games here. Solitaire, Backgammon. Cuphead is a really interesting game. That's Cuphead. Looks like a 1930s uh, movie or something. Beach Buggy Racing is always popular. Kind of reminds me of Mario Kart. Chess. Uh, I don't know what that is. Asteroids. Love that from the 80s. Centipede. Super Breakout. Lunar Lander. Missile Command. Uh, Millipede. Which is just like Centipede. Tempest. And Gravatar. And there's new games they always download with a big software update and you get new new games. There's that Sims game I was talking about. And of course with the latest update we get car karaoke now. So you can um, sit there and have the, have the music come across with the words which is kind of cool while you're driving. Anyway that's a breakdown of the uh, video game controller. Like I said, you can get these on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. Plug it into a USB port and now your uh, Tesla is a basically a PlayStation or Xbox. All right, enjoy. The earlier Model S's have a huge front trunk or frunk. In mine, I'm, I carry a full-size child seat. 
I've even put strollers and groceries in here. With just a few moving parts, electric cars have very low maintenance. They can be serviced just a few times in their life to replace coolant and the battery. Having an electrified garage nearby is a really big comfort because they can service everything out of warranty for me. They are also some of the safest cars in the world. With the front trunk, which acts as a crumple zone and absorbs a lot of shock, they have taken many head-on collisions and proven themselves Here's an example of a very bad crash where everyone survived. I can't think of a safer car to put my family in. Teslas are also fast. You can use this to get out of sticky situations. Just be careful not to accelerate too frequently at high speed because it does tend to eat the rear tires being rear wheel drive. But the speed is very addictive. This 2013 does 0 to 60 in 4 seconds, which is pretty incredible. I have reviewed and owned other cars with apps such as GM's OnStar, and I must say that the Tesla app is so polished, it's almost like an Apple product. It's very snappy, no lag, connects very quickly. Uh, tying into that, the, the Bluetooth in the car has very, very stable. It never loses connection. You can get in, in and out of the car several times and the phone always connects, which is great. I can't say enough about the different features of the app. You can unlock the doors, roll down the windows. It sends you notifications if you leave the windows down. There's so much that this app can do. You can even shop and purchase Tesla gear such as hats and sweaters and t-shirts and things like that just to satisfy your inner fanboy if you want to. Another feature in the Tesla that I'm a huge fan of is the air conditioning. Being in Florida you can imagine um, you can stop, you can put the car in dog mode, camp mode, all these different modes which leaves the air conditioning on the car can run for days and days because it has a huge battery and unlike other cars you can run the Tesla in a garage um, because there's no carbon monoxide obviously uh, you can also schedule to have the air conditioning running when you get in the car in the morning which is incredible Tesla's have some of the best battery technology in the business it's a liquid cooled battery with a radiator so the car keeps the battery at an optimum temperature this is an eight-year-old battery, and I still get about 90% of my range, which is incredible. Um, I can't say enough about this battery. I supercharge it twice a week, and it just works. The resale value on these cars works in your favor. Because this car does not have autopilot or sentry mode, I got a great deal on it for about $29,000. It is the best deal in the used car market I think for what you get. Can you think of an eight-year-old car that keeps getting better and better? Teslas get over-the-air updates just like your computer or your smartphone. So what happens is this car has features in it that did not come with it when it was brand new. For example, my car will text me because it's always connected to the internet through 4G and it will say, hey, you left your windows down. You left the sunroof open. And that really is helpful. The audio entertainment features, video game features are also new. So all these new video games are all downloaded through the software updates. Same with adding Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, all that has been added after the fact that the car was purchased, which is great. Um, car karaoke, which is another great feature that was also added. Uh, even safety features such as um, braking enhancements have been added after the fact. With the free supercharging, this car is very cheap to operate. And compared to a gas car, it's shockingly cheap to operate. There's only a few moving parts, low maintenance, and very cheap running costs. 
The car also has driver profiles, which you can switch between you and your spouse. And it adjusts the wheel, uh, even entertainment settings are all adjusted by driver profiles. Tying into the low maintenance, the brakes last a very long time, upwards of 100,000 miles, because you use regenerative braking to slow the car down. The Model S is also made out of aluminum, so there's no rust to worry about. The rear camera can be left on all the time if you want, so while you're driving down the road, you always have that camera up if you want to. It can be distracting, but it is kind of neat in certain situations. All Teslas come with a full web browser that can be operated while driving, although the passenger should operate it for safety. It, but if you're stopped at a supercharger stop or you're stopped on your lunch break or just in the car, you can go to any website that you need to. I keep favorites in there like the weather, Gmail, things like that, so you can pull up those at any time. Going on to purchasing a car, the 2012s through late 2014s do not have autopilot or sentry mode, and you can purchase those starting at around twenty-five to $32,000 in 2021 year. Um, if you want to step up to the 2015s, that's when the autopilot starts, but that's going to put you in the higher price bracket. All these cars can be serviced after, after the warranties ended at places like Electrified Garage or Gruber Motors, and they will service the batteries, everything. So don't worry, if you're out of warranty, you'll be taken care of, which is great. I do want to thank you for watching, and please subscribe and like the video. I put up all these uh, technology videos, plus a lot of paddleboarding videos, because that's kind of what we do all the time, too. Um, have a great day, and thank you.